Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Sable. In the last episode we've explored this abandoned ship we found out in the desert. The Bon Yon Yon, the Shan Han, the ship, which I found some good stuff in, uh, including an AI. And now we met this person at the end, who gave us a quest. So we need to gather la larval husks, which seem to be somewhere in this direction. So we need ah, we need our our bike. Wherever it may have appeared. Ah. I guess it doesn't want to teleport, so I'll just run to it. Ah, there it is. Weird that it took so long. Let's go. Hmm. Seems like we have quite a journey ahead of us towards the mountain, or like the canyon thing there. I see a, a lootable ship, it seems. So I'll make a quick stop there first. And then head to our main target. Angler Hut. Now what's... What's this? Who are you? More than once, the moon has slowed over a dune without my asking. We're taking an unexpected but gentle curve around an invisible something and I've wondered if she's drawing from my memory of a time before. But lately I've wondered if she's tuning into other, another different flow altogether. The movements of fish as they swim beneath the sands. I approached the angler with this in mind and think how interesting it must be to find one's calling in fishing and reaching out for things one cannot see. Might even teach me some patience. So the fish are in the sand interesting. Hello there, Glada. What can I do for you? What do I want to talk about? I'd like to learn to fish. The angler nods. Fancy the angler mask, eh? Hope you're more patient than some of these gliders. I'm very patient, very. I'm certain he smirks. Huh. Well, either way, the first thing you'll need is a fishing rod, and I'll give you one of my old ones. Good for a trainee. Take this. You can use this to cast off anywhere you can find some sand. Anywhere? Anywhere. Whether you get a bite or not will be another matter, but that's the trick of being an angler, feeling it out. So if you want to earn the mask, that's how you do it. I'm not here to waste your time if you're not here to waste mine. For your first badge, all I'll need to see is some fish from right here in Sansi. Bring me a bellow guppy, a pebble eye, and a pillfish, and we're good. And remember, every species has its own habitat, so you'll have to search around to find where they live. But word to the wise, a lot of fish survive by nibbling on the roots of plants. That should give you a place to start. I thank him and depart. Good luck out there. Press T to get out your fishing rod. You can use it to catch fish that live in the sands. Ah. Interesting. Uh -oh. I guess... My previous quest is cancelled for now, which isn't nice. But well then, let's, let's try it. Okay. Isn't what I am um, gonna do this episode. I'm looking for my nest thing. Ah, okay. Ah, so I can I can ch swap between challenges in the menu. That's good. Let's go find ourselves some larval husks now. Oh, is that where it is? In that seemingly ruined city. 
Interesting. Racing through these streets like Gandalf and the Third Lord of the Rings. Are you the Beetle Mama? They are peaceful. I'm happy to know that because I would have gotten scared if that had bitten me. So I'll try to do this on foot. I assume that the husks are inside of this sack looking thing. I don't like that. Hmm? There's an old worn out notepad by the tent. Read it. After all my journeying, my path inside the nest is blocked. The Hercules beetle, she blocks the way and refuses to move. I con continue flicking through the scroll of notes. I am at my wit's end. The creature sleeps and sleeps and will not move. I have tried attacking the beast, but its shell is hard as metal and she does not even acknowledge me. There are further notes. There is an unusual plant that has overgrown the tower across from the nest. I plan to investigate this. The smaller beetles seem attracted to the plant. A final scrawl on the back of the book. The climb was extremely troubling. If only I had my old gliding stone still. Nevertheless, I made it. Holding the fruit that grows on the giant plant seems to agitate it and emit a harmless gas of some kind. Beetles seem to gather around as I do so. I will test my theory with the mother. The notes end. So either that's an instruction on what I shouldn't do or I'll die. Or it's telling me exactly what I need to do to get the beetle, the big one, away. So I guess that's the tower. And I have to climb it now. Yay. This really is like the Lord of the Rings. This is like Weathertop. Just without the Nazgul. There's balls. And this... And it was said that atop the tower, the fruit is right it said on, on top of the tower. Oh, look! Fruit! If I throw it down, there will stay. Oh damn, that flies far. But it seems to stay, so I'll just harvest it up here and throw it down. No, please. That was close. That as well. Close again. And now, fly. Father, help. And down it goes. Yeah, perfect landing. Is there nothing all the way on top of this tower? How underwhelming. Oh! So let's test the theory. Oh. Let's grab the thing. And walk to Mama. And stop dropping it. Oh look, she likes it. Can I lure you out? No, no. Wait. Here. Here you go. Your beetle. I will actually take this with me. Or am I... Ma This seems to be turning into a horror movie as I walk. Not good. Yeet! I just... Oh! Oh! Hey! Oh shit, those are moving. Um, 
I need the orange ones. Since I assume those are the ones that are empty. Hey, look! Money! Money! Oh! And one of my uh, beetle husks. Only one to go. And oh, I, I have a feeling where it may be. Like somewhere up here. There we go. Third one. And where does this lead? Does this just lead to a, a secret treasure or a way to leave? Because I want to get... Oh! Another one. And secret treasure. Do I just keep one of them now? Or do I get more rewards because I uh, found more? Or do I get scolded for getting more than I needed? Ah, yeah, that is the way out. So, I'll just... That chest only had 20 credits inside of it. What a scam. So... I'd say my task here is... Done. Hey, another one. Oh boy. So... Oh. Oh, look, a tomb. Any other... No. Just this one. Chum. Chum. Now where did I park? Over there. Okay. So I assume I only stole the empty like scale things. Because I don't want to steal babies. You know? It's not cool. Onward to home. And home we are. So I will just park my bike in front of the parking station because I am just uh, different. Nice helmet. And then I'll talk to our quest master. Because I got your shit, boy. Greetings, glider. What can I do for you? I have the harvel level husks. Eva started clapping the moment I caught her eye. Ah, you got them. Hobal mother beetle that he give you too much trouble. I hand her the husks lighter than air but strong as steel. And she slides them away in a cloth bag. These'll really come in handy, thank you. Actually, there's one more thing you could do for me. Can you take these husks to Erika and deliver them to Ayan in the chime maker's sh workshop? Anything else I can help you with? Um... Well, where do you want these beetles to be taken to? So, let's see, in this direction. Yeah, that's that I can do that. But I saw that I found that I got some other stuff as well that intrigued me. Ah, this thing. Larval husk package. Ah, yeah. Here, nothing. This thing I got. Beetle badge. Ah. Very nice, very nice. Let's go. Oh, there's a forest. I thought this was a desert. Well, I guess then it makes sense that, yeah, and in the in the trailer of the game that I saw on Epic before I got it, there was some footage of like a purple landscape and some some stuff. So it shouldn't surprise me. And since they they are somewhat palm-like, that's just desert trees, I guess, which makes sense. Although maneuvering is gonna be a bit harder now. 
Sorry about that, the recording just stopped. But maneuvering the bike will be harder. Cause oh Cause of the trees, that's what I meant. Well it seems like we've made it to our destination. Delivery delivery Where do I put you? Ah, there it goes. Go away, birds. Or whatever. And now we find... Atomic Priesthood Trousers. My, my. They, they seem to look... Oh. They fit with the machinist top quite amazingly, I must say. Stunning. Well, let's continue on our journey to deliver the package. Is that up there? Up there? The thing? No? Well, another time then. Hey, a city and a giant tube, which doesn't look too friendly, but I can simply skate over it, right? Yeah, kinda. Now I just need to figure out where our AN is in this Akira city. Is this water? Seems to be water. Um. Oh. Okay, so it's 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 fine. Isn't it isn't broken because it touched water. Oh damn. FPS. Be looking fucking awful right now. Seems to be getting. Better. Okay, I guess that gate isn't meant for me. Ah, uh -huh. maybe it is. Who knows? But I'm sorry about the horrible FPS at the moment. Look a heart, how cute. Jesus Christ. Well, are you my target? No. You. You. You must be my target. I meet a chime maker called A.N. Ah, you have the husks that Eva promised me. Here's a little something for your trouble. Farewell, glider. View cl quest log. I seem to do that. So I assume... This quest is done. Yep. Chicken. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sable. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel as well. Do not miss any future videos or other stuff I do. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.